All right, so we're actually gonna start this tutorial on the desktop, and you might notice I have two folders that I've created here. One is Park Photos, and this just has five raw images in there, so straight from the camera, shot in raw photo mode, and I've uploaded them to this folder here. And then I just created an empty folder called Finished Photos, where we're gonna, where we're gonna end up saving all of these. So the easiest way that I like to do it is to go ahead, select all of these photos that we want to save all at once, and open them with Photoshop. So since they're raw images, Photoshop will open up Camera Raw at first, and this is just an area where you can adjust the exposure and whatnot, but we're trying to work fast here and save everything all at once. So what you can do is just actually select all the images in the side panel here. So have them all highlighted and then select open images so we're not doing anything in camera raw we're just opening all the files in Photoshop and as you can see these are pretty large files um, they're all like 5,000 pixels or so so you can see they're all open at 33 percent um, one cool thing you can do to see everything that you have open at once is go to arrange and you can actually tile them all a few different ways like tile all vertically but that's just a cool little tip that I thought I'd tell you guys, but that's regardless. So we have all five photos open right now, and we wanna save them all at once without having to go to file, save as, close for each file. So what we're gonna use is Photoshop's batch processing capabilities. So first we need to create an action. So if you see this little play button right here, you can hit it to open up the actions menu, or you can go to window actions here. So open up that actions panel and click on that new little folder button just to make things easier for you. And we'll call this new set of actions, uh, I'll call it tutorial, but you can call yours whatever you want. Just make sure you spell the tutorial right. Okay. I can't spell because I'm typing with one hand, but there we go, <laughs> tutorial. So you can see I've already did this before. Okay, so we have that new folder, and then in that new folder, click this new action button right here. So you can name this whatever you want. I'll name mine saving. So you see it's saving in the tutorial folder. So once you go ahead and click record, Photoshop is gonna record everything you do and turn it into a handy little action. So all we wanna do, well, let's say you wanted to do the same effect for every single image that you have out open, you just apply those effects, whether they be like hue saturations or black and whites or whatever. For me personally, I'm gonna leave the colors alone, but these are all very large and I just wanna share them on my website. So I'm gonna to go to image size. So image, image size. And instead of this very large 5,000 by 3,000 pixels, I just wanna share them on my website at 1,500 pixels by 1,000 each. So I'll go ahead and click OK, and you can see Photoshop saves that step. So step one, change the image size. And then step two, I just want to save the image. So I'll go to File, Save As, and uh, I'll save it in the Finished Photos folder as a JPEG. And uh, I'll go ahead and click Save and choose the maximum quality here and select OK. So once you have all your steps done and the last one being save, go ahead and press the pause button to stop recording. So now you have your action finished up right here. So we want to save up the rest of our images here without doing it all one by one, without having to resize them all one by one and whatnot. So here's where we're gonna use batch processing. So go ahead and select File, Automate, Batch. So here, Photoshop's gonna open up this little window and it says, what action do you wanna use on all these photos? So we're gonna use the saving action that we made in the tutorial set. And then the source, we wanna do it on all open files right now. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then the destination, where do we want Photoshop to save these uh, photos? So I selected folder, and then it'll let you choose what folder you want on your desktop. 
and I selected that new empty folder that I made, finished photos. So go ahead and leave this override action unchecked. And then here it'll ask, how do you want to name your files? So you can just keep it at the original document name and then extension like image 8132.jpg. Or if you want to add like the month and date on the end of it and whatnot or a serial number, you can do that as well. I'm just going to leave it at the document name.jpg. So once you have all your settings set, go ahead and press OK and Photoshop will go ahead and go to work and you can see it just saved and closed all of the files. So if I minimize Photoshop here and open up my finished photos folder, I can see all five JPEGs are, or all five raw images were, are now saved as a JPEG and they were all resized just like I wanted them to be at 1500 by 1000 pixels. If you want to get more into the actions side of things, I do have another batch processing tutorial if you search my channel where I create more of an action for it. But this tutorial specifically focused on how to save things quickly and with as little button presses as possible. So although I only did five photos here, this would save you a lot of time if you had like 100 photos open in Photoshop. If you head over to my website, I actually have a mailing list that you can sign up for where I plan to start giving away these free stock photos like the ones you see here because I have a lot of extra ones left over from doing these videos so I'm thinking about releasing them in packs you know maybe twice a month or something like that so you can go ahead and sign up to that mailing list um, I do plan on releasing some bonus content or photos on there but you can find it on my website justicegood.com if you have any questions let me know and once again thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys next time